these things. Okay, so we've learned how to simplify sets. Now we're going to learn the opposite of simplification. How to write something as an entire set. Another way of asking that question is, express the following as the square root of a whole number. So now we don't want the number in the square root to be the lowest possible one. We want to write it as root of something, a bigger number, so that the 3 is not outside anymore. So we want to move the 3 inside. So when we're moving something inside, so we rooted it when we were taking it outside, we square rooted a number. So for example, root 16, if you wanted to take root 16 out of the root sign, don't you square root it? Square root of 16 is 4. So what's the opposite of square rooting? Squaring. Well done. So now we don't want to square root it, we square it. So once you move a number inside, what do we do? Square it. So 3, we need to take it inside. And 3 becomes 3 squared times 5 is already there. What's 3 squared? 9 times 5, 9 times 5, 45. So this whole process is the opposite of simplifying sets. So you can be asked to express them as a whole number, or the question can also say write as an entire set, that it's entirely a set and there's nothing outside the root sign. Any questions? Awesome. Next one. We need to move the 2 inside the square root sign. What's the opposite of square root? Opposite square. operation? Square root. Square. square. Be there or be square. So 2 squared is? 4. four. What happens between 4 and 7? You put a time. Well done. Which is? Do I not simplify? No. No. Because we are actually doing the opposite of simplification. If you simplify, you should get 2 root 7. Make sense? Awesome. Yes. 10 root 6. What happens? 10 needs to go in there. What happens when we move it in there? Square it. Get squared. So, 10 becomes? 10 squared. What is 10 squared? 100. Yes. We check the 600. Thank you, I can ask you to answer, so please wait until I tell you to answer something. So 100 times 6 is a 600. Yes? Yes. Perfect.